Let's turn the microphone on. Good morning, everybody. My name is Osa. And we are playing Farming Simulator 22 on Maple Farm, which has not been updated this week. It's keeping an eye on it, and it's still on the Giants. Uh, test list. So, uh, it hasn't been rejected, but it hasn't been passed. Incidentally, there was a new map on the Mod Hub on Friday morning, which was removed a couple of hours later, so I don't know what was going on with that. I don't recall what the name of the map was, but uh, I think it was a French map. But anyway, um, yeah, so we're still playing on whatever version of the map we were playing on before. I'm kind of hoping if Giants put it live, they do it early in the week, that'll give me a couple of days to uh, step back through what's been done. Obviously, we'll, use, we'll lose the stats of all our, uh, you know, contracts completed, bales created, etc, etc. But hopefully I should be in a position where everything else is balanced out. It's the first day of November, it's three o'clock in the afternoon. And I did finish the uh, subsoiling of that field prior to uh, shutting down the stream last week or oh, shutting down the game last week have a look to see if there's any contracts going I mean obviously everything we can do to make more money would be a good thing did order this earlier this afternoon which is designed I think for picking up potatoes sugar beets and rocks and we have a lot of the latter I'm guessing the car only does 30 miles an hour Okay, yeah, this is something that does make me wonder. Um, when a map maker makes a map, can they make the cars obey the speed limits? Ooh. Certainly make them not sig signal when they're turning. But for example, I'm driving 50 km an hour road. Um, which is give or take approximately 30 miles an hour. So do the cars drive at 30 miles an hour in that section? Now we're into an 80 mile an hour or an 80 kilometer an hour section, which is what, approximately 50 I think? Do they drive 50 here, that side there? Frequently. Uh, I think, oh, I'm missing my turn. But, uh, I'm kind of getting used to looking out for the uh, street sign that says there's a turn on the right. Drinking and driving. So I'll probably replace the wall around <coughs> the house yard with a uh, um, with a dry stone wall so something like the wall on our left if that's available in the textures on the revised map okay here we are there's the bales in the silage clamp 
We've got a couple of grass bales. Where did I put my uh, that? forgetting you have to select the tractor to connect stuff to it or it doesn't work oops now this is a wide bucket but uh, only 640 liters guess we will find out how heavy rocks are. Oh, hello. So this is going to change the ground texture as we drive. Interesting. Well, I kind of was planning to uh, uh, lime this field. So, uh, not much in the way of uh, contrast difference, texture difference when it comes to uh, seeding or planting, seeding. We are going to be seeding this field. Obviously the problem I'm having here is I'm missing some. I think I have the bucket dug into the ground. So uh, it is... I am losing traction. Still, not going in a straight line along here. Now this may be another case of what I really need to be doing is um, running across the field rather than up and down it. Seriously, come on. There we go. I think I now have the wheels on the ground, although that does mean it's skipping. Such is life. Thirty percent full. Um, that's probably about right. doesn't really matter if I hit texture change over the entire field. What matters is that uh, there's no rocks when we look at it. But this definitely lets me drive a little bit quicker than... Uh, A rock picker does. No idea if I got it. It looks like there was the texture coming out of the bucket coming down there, so uh, we'll call that good. And. Oh, hello. I lost my rock somewhere.
think driving down the hill might have been a bad plan. Yeah, looks like uh, we tipped rocks out of the bucket as we came down the hill. Okay, well we're not going to be driving down the hill while collecting rocks anymore. Because that tips the bucket forward so we end up with uh, all the rocks coming out. And that's good. Okay, so we've been completely round the field once, 55%. Now we're a little bit away from the trees. It's a bit easier to see where I'm going. So, do I like this more than I like the rock pickers? Um, one thing you can go faster. And because we are running... Um, yeah, we're, we're going to end up with more than 2,000 litres at this rate. <coughs> And 2,000 litres is a little bit of a problem because that's about the capacity of a standard rock picker. So you have to find some way to tip it. So at the end of the day, you still have to tip the rocks out in the yard and then shovel them into something large enough to take them somewhere. And my findings, uh, it's generally more expensive to lease a rock picker than it is than any money you make from the rocks so it's pretty much always a losing proposition I may consider buying a um, a rock picker 50% off in a sale I have done that before. <coughs> and that then means that, uh, you know, you're, it's yours, so you're not paying for the leasing fees. You're going to eventually make money back on the deal. Oops. I don't think there were actually any rocks on that bit, but... As for the bucket itself, it's kind of an interesting oops, little design in that uh, yeah, obviously it's got the metal prongs at the front to scoop rocks up, but all the holes for letting all the dirt come back out again. 
Now, having watched Millennial Farmer, his his machine just flips rocks into the bucket on the rock picker. It doesn't really um, touch the dirt. Oh, yeah, full. So keep the bucket low for now. It looks like. We might be able to lift it. Ooh. No, don't do that. Ugh. Keep the bucket level, or we just lose more rocks from it. No, I'm not going to pick up all of those. Okay, tip the bucket flat. I should probably think about putting the weight on the back of the tractor. Just a thought. I think we're not being helped here by the fact that this is kind of sloping downhill. Okay, I'm going to go and get the weight. things a little more stable. It should be in the grass here. Maybe I should have painted it a different colour than black. I did consider colour coding it with the Massey, but I think maybe. Well, the yard will be changing before much longer. I'll leave those there, we'll just come back for them next time. And then tomorrow game day. I should be looking at probably uh, seeding both of these fields. So, or both of our fields should I say. Um, field, this field will be putting grass back in. And the other field, I believe I'm planning barley. And that's because it'll give us some uh, straw, which we'll need when we have cows. And also, Try and get the wheels on the ground and the bucket on the floor. There we go. Is that working? That seems to be working. Um, so next winter, I think we should be able to think about cows on the farm. <coughs> doing 
very well lining this up. There we go. So as I said, I don't really want, need to worry about the texture. Oops. What I need to do is stones, where are we at? Here. And I'm looking for no stones in the upper area. Looks like there's some in that corner over there, which I might need to go back and deal with. And we need to be in drive, not reverse. So, so long as there's no little red dots on the field once this is done, it doesn't matter if there's still um, harrowed texture on the ground. Okay, that bit, oh, it might need ploughing. That bit needs ploughing, it's not rocks. Okay. in a way if I lift the front wheels up um, it does mean that I'm not going to steer off course so long as I get the line correct when I start This bucket is a very slightly too heavy for this tractor to use unaided. It is definitely the right width. Obviously, if you're using whoops, a shorter or a lighter tractor, um, this bucket would probably end up too heavy. Rocks are very heavy. This much I have discovered. I really don't know how much we'll get in our uh, tipper down there. We're still missing. What the heck? Oh. There we go. So that act there is just enough to lift the front wheels off the ground so the tractor goes in a straight line. Of course, the other downside of this piece of equipment is you can't put it on a worker. We 
which is one of the adva supposed advantages of a rock picker. You can send a worker out with it and get the job done. However, um, that's just an added, added expense of using a rock picker which isn't profitable anyway. I wonder if I should do a second headland up the side, it would make it easier. I wouldn't be reversing it to hedges to turn around. don't know that we're actually going to end up with very many rocks here. I mean, it's not a big field for a start. Oops. Is there rocks behind me? No. can do this at a higher speed. Um, I am having an issue with skipping, so uh, trying to keep the speed around 15 miles an hour. How are we doing? 80%. We had a bit of fun this week. Um, thunderstorms on, I think it was Monday, no, Tuesday night. Um, caused the power to go out, and we had the wonderful discussion.